what I am really focused on is the best risk adjusted return on investment for my clients. And that word risk adjusted, those words is really important, right? For an investor to go into downtown and, you know, developer talk is take down a project, but for somebody, for an everyday investor to go into downtown and to buy and renovate a building that's been vacant for 30 years, you'd have to put tens of millions of dollars into that investment. It's a lot of risk and the rewards are really slow and low. <laughs> they are low in the beginning. The, the returns are low in the beginning. It's a big payoff many, many years down the line. It's, it's not the best risk adjusted return on investment to be investing in downtown. So what I show people is the best way for everyday investors, you, me, everybody to take advantage of an opportunity like a revitalized downtown, buy single family rental properties right around that downtown because those single family rental properties mitigate risk. They mitigate risk because you have enough cash flow coming in to offset the expenses, right? They still get the benefits of the overall rent price appreciation and the home price appreciation that you get because downtown is growing and revitalizing, but you don't have to take the risk and you don't have to shell out millions of dollars to get it. So the investment opportunity that we're talking about is building that portfolio of single family rental properties in the neighborhoods that we have been serving for 18 years here in Jacksonville which will indirectly benefit from everything we're talking about with downtown's growth. How does JWB fit into that equation? How does JWB fit into that equation? Well, this is what we have been doing for 18 years. We have been able to build, you know, portfolios for clients. Jesus, it's, it's $1.3 billion of client portfolios we get to manage. We break that down. That's over 3,000 rental properties. And it's all here in Jacksonville in these beautiful neighborhoods that are right around downtown Jacksonville. So this has been a very coordinated effort for JWB for 18 years and especially over the last three to five years to be able to impact client returns positively through our efforts of investing in downtown. So JWB invests a lot of our own money in downtown, but we're not advocating for you to do the same, right? You got to have really deep pockets. You got to have a really high risk tolerance. Your best bet is to be able to buy those assets and JWB is your vertically integrated provider. It makes it really easy for you. Right. You can move a chunk of money into your single family rental property portfolio managed by JWB, and you get the benefit of everything we're talking about here as far as the downtown growth that's happening with Jacksonville. We've got a saying that actually someone told me about eight months ago, which was really interesting. That's really applicable right now. And he's talking about how there's millions of dollars to be made for the average investor on the margins, right? So he calls it millions on the margins, right? What he means by that is if you pay attention over any economic inflection point. Anytime an economy is about to go up, go down, anything changes, there's an inflection point, like we're talking about at Jacksonville right now. And there's an inflection point. If you pay attention to what the big dollars are doing, right? And you invest your dollars on the margins of that and the periphery of that, right? Very frankly, I can't compete as an individual, Paul Shively, I can't compete with Blackstone, right? One of the largest REITs in the world, right? But guess what? We buy deals from Blackstone. We invest in the same areas that Blackstone invests. I pay attention to what they're doing and I make similar moves, right? You know, Blackstone, but what was it? Seven, bill, seven and a half billion dollars of single family homes in 2021, 2022, right? Mm -hmm. So pay attention to that. They're doing the same thing. Why? Well, okay, we can we can pick off and, you know, take down like Greg talks about, invest in, right? We can do the same things. We can make the same moves, but we can do it kind of in our own lane, right? I'm an individual investor. I'm Paul Shively. I have my own personal net worth. I'm not worth hundreds of billions of dollars, like some of these big giant developers, right? So what can I do? How do I take advantage of this? Exactly like Greg said, you invest in the margin, you invest in the peripheries, you're smart about where the path of progress is going. And you, it's not a demeaning thing at all. I love being on the margin. I love being there, right? Because these big boys get to do all the heavy lifting for me, right? And I get to make a safe, secure, solid investment, have all the economics we've all talked about on the show forever, right? And I get paid from day one from the cash flow. It helps offset my expenses like you talked about. I don't have to make an investment and wait to get paid for three and five and eight years like some of these developers do, right? That's high risk, high reward. That's not how my dad built wealth. It's not how my dad's able to retire, high risk, high reward. It's not how I'm a fan of investing personally, right? I'm more of a, I'll hit doubles and singles. And in 10 years, I'm very happy with my doubles and singles that have grown over time, right? I stack my rentals. So that's what we're talking about. And that's what's nice is you can predict the future, see what the big boys are doing, see the economy, see the data that Greg's talking about. And then how do we apply it, which is what I talked about at the beginning, which is I love you asked that question, Greg, and you're talking about it, Pablo's, well, what do we do? How do we fit into this picture, right? How do we take advantage of this? And you start to be intelligent about where we put our dollars, which I love.